and uh, the triangle in quadrilateral that is long and this chapter is constructions so before learning let's see the instruments what we will use in this chapter for this is ruler or scale and uh, using this key, we will measure the line segments and we will draw the line segments the particular measurement it is taken here 0 to 40 centimeters so in this without the actual measurements we will draw the line segments using this whiteboard and this is called compass we will make an arcs using this and uh, this is divider we will use this divider to measure the length of the line segments and this will be helpful for us and uh, this is for protractor and we will measure an angles and we will construct angles using this protractor and uh, two more things these are called as Set squares. Uh, we have two different types of set squares. We have and this in this set square, three different types of angles we have. That is one of the thing is 90 degrees and 30 degrees and 60 degrees. This largest angle what is formed here. The base, the base what is the angle is formed. This is 60 degrees and this is 90. Or the main angle is 30 degrees and this matter. Uh, we, uh, we we construct an angles, a particular angles using this. We will also in different cases we will draw parallel lines, perpendicular lines using this set square. And we have another set square here. And this is one angle is 90 degrees. And remaining two angles are 45, 45. These two angles are equal. And uh, this is 45, 45. And this is 90 degrees. 90, 45, 45. And, uh, and we also draw the angles and uh, we construct a perpendicular line, perpendicular lines, and we draw parallel lines using these two both, uh, set squares. And this is a uh, let's start with the line segment. Draw a line segment of draw a line segment of 10 centimeters. Let's take a ruler, square, the scale we have taken and uh, you can see here centimeters are given 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 these are the centimeters so uh, this is uh, 10 centimeters is from 0 to 10 let's draw we'll take a scale just place it on the board or paper how we should draw on the paper or uh, we use this key and just put it on the paper and we take in pencil and uh, just using the dot of the zero from zero and we draw till 10 so this is 10 centimeters so zero to 10 10 centimeters name, name this line segment as a b a and b is 10 centimeters for example, let's draw for 20 centimeters. 20 centimeters, line segment of 20. This is 10 centimeters we have drawn. Let's draw for 20 centimeters. Starting with 0, starting with the 0. And uh, here 20, 0 and 20. Between these two, the two values is 20 centimeters. So join these two points. We get a 20 centimeters line segment, maybe it as CD. It's line segment which, which measures 20 centimeters. In this manner, we draw uh, lines, line segments. Sorry, these are line segments which are having two end points. We have already discussed in the geometry part. So, a point, line, line segments, all those little things we have discussed. So, the line segment which is 20 centimeters we have drawn here and um, similar manner how much measurement we, we 
pipe will draw juice in the skin and uh, let's go to the next concept that is perpendicular bisector Let's recall, we have taken a line segment of 30 centimeters 
and the music point in the heart and this measurement is more than half on 30 centimeters so it's more than half on 30 centimeters and after that we have taken the point A and uh, made an arc and point B we cut that arc and similarly just we take the same measurement and draw the same arcs and, and fill up the line segment and we have taken up the line segment the similar manner we take this same process on below the line segment so the first arc using point A and the second one point B let's see this two arcs we got and this uh, this is intersection of two arcs and intersection of two arcs and on above the line segment and below the line segment using particular uh, process we have that so let's see these two arcs lying on the same line you can observe just so take these two points the arcs intersection of the arcs here we got the two points so take that two points and join them with the line segment so let's draw, let's draw using the scheme we have taken the scheme and join them Have joined the line segment and just measure these two parts which are divided. Let's take this point as what is the point? So let's find out what is the measurement of AO and OB. So let's see OA is 15 centimeters exactly. Just observe carefully. This is 15 centimeters and other part is also 15 because this is 30, this is 15 centimeters, and this other part OB is also 15 centimeters. AO is equal to OB is equal to 15 centimeters. The line segment which is 30 centimeters divided into two parts that make it to 15 centimeters, 15 centimeters is called perpendicular bisector. This is bisector. And what is meant by perpendicular bisector? Is, which is making 90 degrees with the base of any which, which the line segment is divided. So let's let's find out what is the angle made by this perpendicular bisector with the base with the line segment AB. So let's take the point, the initial point is O, and that we keep it on the initial point of O on the line segment. So we place it, let's place it on this. So we place it exactly. So we can observe this is this is exactly 90 degrees. We can observe this is exactly 90 degrees. This line is making 90 degrees with the line segment AB, the perpendicular bisector. It's making the line segment, the bisector is making angle of 90 degrees with the line segment AB. So we call this is perpendicular bisector. So what we understood is perpendicular bisector it doesn't mean that uh, nothing but it's divided two equal parts and also makes 90 degrees with the base board which we have divided the line segment so this is the concept so let's go to the next concept let's take a compass and scale using this two we'll draw a circle let's take an example Construct circle using the radius using the radius of ten centimeters we need to construct a circle using the radius of ten centimeters what did we have learned in previous classes and previous chapter about the geometry in the geometry circle a simple close a figure a plane figure which has a fixed point and fixed distance and fixed point is called center the fixed distance is called radius so then using the radius we will draw a circle and different different radii uh, we can draw different different circles that concept we have learned in previous chapter so let's draw a circle 
using the radius of 10 centimeters. Circle using the radius of 10 centimeters. So let's take two instruments, scale and compass. So use 10 centimeters on compass. So in this manner we'll measure and take the scale and measure 10 centimeters on compass. So this is 10 centimeters. We measure, we have taken 10 centimeters radius on compass. So let's see in from 0 to 10 we have taken the 0 and 10 between 0 to 10. So this is the measurement of 10 centimeters we have taken. So let's draw a line segment using this. Take a point. Take a point. I'm using this point. Make an arc in this side. I join these two. Join these two. And we get a line segment. And this is a line segment we call. I take this initial point as well. And uh, now this is we this is 10 centimeters as we know and radius this is the radius so let's take the center as O at the fixed point we have discussed earlier using this point O and draw a circle we have drawn a circle using this point so this is a circle of uh, 10 centimeters let's draw a circle using 20 centimeters circle with 20 centimeters similarly we take 20 centimeters on compass so this is the measurement which we take in so 0 to 20 exactly 20 we need to take and 20 is a measurement. Let's say D and 0 and 20 and 20 is there. So this is a 20 centimeters. I'm using this radius. We can put a point. I'm using this point. And without taking the radius, also we can make. But uh, let's make the radius close. 0 to a point. 0 and to a point. Point O and uh, another point. We we'll take it and impart on the circle. And this is radius of 20 centimeters. And let's join this two using the ruler. Let's join this. And this is called radius. You know, radius. We have taken 20 centimeters. And uh, as already we have taken a radius on compass. And this complete the circle. Let's try it again. 